please log on to www.poems.com.sg. So this is the web address for you to log in to Poems 2.0 platform. So on the top right corner is where you can key in your trading account number followed by the password. Okay, click on login, you'll be logged in to our Poems 2.0 platform. So for the purpose of today's demonstration, we'll be going from a left to right basis for you to understand the different navigation in this platform itself and how to navigate and find certain features of the platform. Yeah. So from the left side, you will see this announcement bar. Okay, clicking on it, you will see the different uh, announcements with relation to what we have posted on the homepage and what's upcoming events, everything will be posted here. Okay, so if you need to find out the indicative exchange rate, you can click on the exchange rate menu. Okay, corporate actions and dividend, the different redirections to external websites, the new counters uploaded, the list of marginable counters. Okay, so if you notice just now on the top bar itself, Essentially, it will come out a list of indices that we offer for our clients to view. Next, we will move on to account management. This place holds the different outstanding positions or even information about your account on this account management tab. So if you notice, Poems 2.0 is a multi-market, multi-asset platform. Hence, when you see over here, we have stocks, CFD, Futures FX, Unit Trust, RSP, SBL, etc. etc. Here is where you can click on to find out the account management of the different product types. So for the purpose of today's demonstration, we will be focusing on stocks. So on account management, you can actually see this outstanding position. It essentially covers the trades that you have placed, contract created, so it actually show you the security name, the contract number, due date, price, quantity, et cetera, et cetera. So amount that is payable to you or to Philip Securities will be shown on this page. Okay. Next, foreign shareholdings. If you have traded or have holdings with the different exchanges in the market, you can find the holdings over here. Okay. Scrapbook is an indicative portfolio. So it's fully edit editable, okay? So you can actually edit your portfolio based on the scrapbook over here. What you need to do is to click on edit. Then from here, you can add in new contracts as well as to edit the price, quantity, information, etc., etc. Yep, once done, just click on done and everything will be as per normal. So just to remind, this is a scrapbook, it's an indicative portfolio. So if your holdings are held with CDP, please check with CDP on the statement itself before you place any sell trade, okay? Next, live positions. Live positions essentially is our beta feature that we have recently launched to our Philip Securities clients. So in this feature, you can actually find the intraday unrealized and realized p &L. So for your orders that are done, you can actually reflect here. So the prices will be updated live. Next, our calculator feature. So if you would like to have an estimation of how much um, your trades will amount to in terms of the profit and loss or even the contract value, you can actually make use of our calculator here for the indicative sum. Next, our setup positions. So for all outstanding positions, we are settled, okay? It will be reflected in this report. You can find out the same information. This information lasts for the current month as well as previous month. Cash dividend. If your account have dividends, etc., you can actually refer back up to 12 months, okay? Upcoming corporate action for all different holdings, it will be reflected in this report. Online forms in particular, it will carry the account conversion form if you are holding the cash account, okay? A point to note, if let's say you need to submit a new W8 form, 
you can actually do it online via your Poems account. All you need to do is go to account management, online forms, and under US tax forms. Select the appropriate tax forms and you can complete your form online without having the need to submit any physical form. Just to add on, likewise, the same for CRCKA, as well as the risk warning statement. Okay, so if you need, all these forms are available online. You can just read through and answer accordingly. Okay, so next, I'll move on to prices, LP1. So if you're on the same screen with me, you can navigate to prices LP1. This will be the main item that we will be going through today. Okay, as mentioned just now, Poems 2.0 is a multi-asset, multi-market platform. So on the top here, after you click on prices LP1, you can actually see stocks, CFD, ETF, futures FX, unit trust, bonds. These are all the different items that are available for you to take note and for you to trade in, okay? So just allow me to put an icon so that it's clearer for you to see my mouse cursor. For today's demonstration, I will focus on stocks, okay? So when I mentioned multi-market just now, if you click on this drop-down list, the SJX one, you will see all the different online markets that are available for our platform. So in total, currently, we have about 16 exchanges. So this essentially covers um, SGX, the 3 US market, Bazaar, Hong Kong, those markets that you're currently trading with RHB Invest. Additionally, you can also find Thailand Stock Exchange, Hong Kong Pre-IPO, Tokyo Stock Exchange, etc., etc. Okay. To navigate between different markets, all you need to do is to click on the drop-down list over here and select the exchange that I'm interested in. Okay, so you'll actually be showing the price of these different counters that you can view. Okay, to make things simpler, today I will just focus on SGX for demonstration. Okay, so you can filter by top volume, top gainers, losers, etc, etc, via this drop-down list. Okay, if you need to filter by sector, just click on the drop-down list accordingly. So if today you are interested in DLCs, you can actually select DLC filter, and all the various DLCs will be reflected accordingly. Okay, if you need to switch between pages, there's navigation bars below, which you can click to switch between the pages and the counters, okay? If you need to sort by alphabetical order, you can actually do so by selecting the respective alphabets, okay? So before going on further, I usually mention to my clients and TRS this, if you want to make a decision on Poems 2.0, you use a left click. If you want to make or rather view more options, you do a right click. Say for example, now I'm interested to find out more information about Singtel. All I need to do is to do a right click. It will show me a con context menu, whereby I can select more options with regard to the counter. Okay, like you can see here, we have a chart live, market depth, time and sales, trade summary, etc., etc. So in order to view, say, market depth now, all I need to do is hover over market depth, do a left click, and I can see the market depth information, okay? If I need to see time and sales, I can do a right click, time and sales, and this pop-up will appear. So going on further, you will see things like news and research. So in this tab itself, it will cover the different research reports, um, stock analytics, news information, or even market watch videos by our in-house team. Okay, so after you click on news and research under research report, you'll essentially see the different research report by our Philip research team. Okay, if you'd like to view any of it, you just need to click on the respective research report and there will be a PDF file open up here. Okay, you can read the research report accordingly. If you're done with it, just click close and you'll be back 
to the platform. So this tab also essentially covers the different morning notes by our research team, the strategy reports, sector reports, etc. etc. If you like to do fundamentals, you can actually use our stock analytics tool, which will cover the business summary, uh, the basic stock information, financial summary, their statements, etc. of the different companies. Okay. All you need to do is just perform the search by this search bar. And the counter details will be reflected accordingly. Okay. If you need some daily news, financial related news, you can actually go to our news tab. If you need some market watch video by our in-house team, you can actually watch them via Poems 2.0. Okay. Economic events for today and upcoming weeks, you can find it from this feature. Okay, clicking on it will show you more information with regard to each event. Next, our chart. So just a quick cover on this chart. Essentially, for counters that have data worth up to 20 years, we do have them. Okay, so you can filter accordingly by minute chart, um, hourly, daily, weekly, etc., etc. All the filters are available over here. Okay. For indicators, we have up to 33 indicators. So anytime you want to do a quick technical analysis, you can use it. Okay. So for example, now I want to search for the counter, DBS. I can do so. You will see that the chart is updated accordingly. Okay. So in terms of the different um, Items, I can go for a basic candlestick, a hollow candlestick, the bar graph, the line graph, okay? So it's showing here. So if let's say now I need to do a moving average, okay, I can actually select on it. If you need to modify your indicators, you will notice there's a gear icon over here. Click on it you will see the pop-up, okay? From here, you can edit the period, the line color, etc., etc., the line width as well, okay? So if you notice on the background, the line width is adjusting accordingly to what I have just edited over in this pop-up, okay? So I can also do a comparison of the two banking counters. Say now I search for UOB, now I can tick on this compare checkbox and select these two counters. So you quickly plot out the comparison between these two counters, as you can see here. Okay, this is our charting tool. Next, ChartWiz is powered by Reconian's uh, technical insight. So essentially, it will cover um, different analytics offered by this tool itself. Okay, to find out more information, you just need to click in. It will essentially cover the different events that is happening. Okay, clicking on it, you can have a deeper look for the information with regarding to the particular point. Okay, it can cover a summary, short term, intermediate, and long term. Okay, likewise for Trading Central, similar to. Next, going on to tools. If let's say you need to screen uh, certain counters based on your uh, P ratio or maybe the market cap, you can make use of this tool. Okay, you'll cover the different exchanges. Just enter in the values or use the slider bar to adjust your figures accordingly. Okay, likewise for ETF screener. and etc etc okay next i'll go on to touch on market data and rewards so this is the place whereby you will be performing the subscription of your reward items and or the market data and live prices okay so to perform the subscription you can click on this market data and rewards select the reward item that you're interested in just click on the checkbox Okay, and there will be an agreement which whereby you need to fill up and complete it. Okay, 
please complete all the information correctly so that you will assist my admin team to process your requests accordingly. Okay, so there will be a need to complete some of the questions. When you are done, just select accordingly and click on submit. Okay, so this is on the subscription of the reward items. So if you notice some of the item having retail price zero and point zero, okay, these are the items which are currently on a promotion. So we are offering some of these non-professional items free for our retail clients. Okay, so currently we have these are non-pro life price for selected markets free. So things like Bursa Life Price, Amex, Nasdaq, Nizi, um, Stock Exchange of Thailand. Okay, these are some of the free life prizes. Okay, so if you happen to be a professional investor, okay, you can click on this agreement link to find out the different information that you will need to complete before you subscribe for the live price. Okay. So if you ever need more information regarding a specific reward item or say live price item, you can actually click on the respective item name itself and read up accordingly about it. I will share with you how to create your watch list. Okay. So you can actually create your watch list via, say now I go back to prices LP1. Okay. There's this tab watch list. Click on it. This should be the screen that you're seeing when you first log in to your Poems account. Okay. So next you can actually click on this drop down list to see the different watch lists that are available for you. So in Poems 2.0, have a total of 10 watch lists, as well as another watch list for unit trust product and another watch list for bonds. Today we will focus on equities. So let's focus on the top 10 watch lists. Okay. So first and foremost, our watch list, each watch list can hold up to 50 counters. So these watch lists are synchronized across Poems platforms. So now to rename a watch list, I will repeat, say now I use prices LP1, watch list tab. Okay, click on the drop down list. You will essentially see all the watch lists, right? All you need to do for renaming is to click on the pencil icon on the right. Click on it, you will go to the rename watch list pop up. Okay. To rename it, just enter the name that you want. Say today is Monday, or just Monday, then click on OK. Okay. You will see that the watch list name is now updated. Okay. In order to add a counter to the watch list, you can use the top right bar again. Okay. If you see here, it mentions add to watch list. So today I'm interested in the various banking counters. All I need to do is just to enter the name of it. Okay, based on the search result, I'll click in to the counter that I want to add to my watch list. Say now DBS equities, click on it. I'll search for OCBC, click on it, and UOB, click on it. All these counters are instantly added to my watch list. Okay. So what if I want to add a counter, say from a different exchange, search for bank, or see Indonesia stock exchange. If I say I'm interested in this counter, I'll just click on it and it will be showing here. Okay. So if you see now, on the left, the first column, you will see the name of the exchange that the counter belong to, the product type, equities, the counter name, and the different price related information. Okay, so likewise again, if I'm not interested in some of the columns, I can do a right click and uncheck the columns accordingly. Okay. If I do not like a whole empty space on the right side of my screen, what I can do is to do a auto fit. 
this will fill the screen with the renaming remaining columns that's available. Okay. So to remove a counter, I can do a right click, remove. Okay. So this will remove the counter from my watch list. So no matter how I navigate around my screen, okay, if I come back to my watch list, you will see the counter still reflected there accordingly. Okay. So some of you might have these questions. Um, whether the price that is reflecting in the watch list is live or not. So this will essentially depend on your live price subscription with us. Okay. So like SGX, we have the free prices. So now what if I enter a counter, say Apple? Okay. You will notice that there's an asterisk, a star character beside the counter name. Okay. So if you see on the birth, it mentioned price delayed 15 to 30 minutes for counters with asterisk. Okay. This will mean that this counter is showing delayed price. Okay. So now back to SGX market. In Poems 2.0, you can also trade unit share market. So say you do a right click, trade unit share. Okay. You will notice the lot size is below 100. So you can actually trade for your unit share over in this platform. So next I will talk about search. You can search for your counters using this view over here. You will see a magnifying glass icon here. Okay. So if now I want to search for the counter DBS, I can just enter in and we'll see the counter and all the search results that contain the three characters, DBS. Okay, clicking on it, you will see it appear, all the details required. Okay, so if you like to filter in more um, product types, you can actually click on this magnifying glass icon. You can see the different product types that's listed here and the different exchanges that you would like to search for. Okay, say so now I search for Apple, you can find, find the counters over here. Okay. Here you can see there's an equities apple as well as a CFD apple counter. Okay. So how do I place a trade? One, I can do a right click and trade Singtel. If you look at it, this is my trade ticket. So you will see an icon EQ, okay? Essentially, EQ stands for equities. Okay. Next, we will be showing our security name as well as the security code and the exchange name, okay? If you look below, it will be our last time price, our bid ask price, as well as the respective volumes. <laughs> so in SGX market, we have three different order types. This is limit order, limit if touch, as well as stop limit order, okay? So to assess the different order types, you can actually select on them and the trade ticket will be updated accordingly. For the purpose of demonstration, I'll be doing a limit order. The three actions allowed, buy, short and sell for SGX market. So if you notice when I click on the different options, the bottom of this trade ticket is updated accordingly. Yeah. So next, the limit price as well as the quantity. So when I key in the quantity now, you will see that the gross value is updated accordingly. Okay. So this gross value do not include in any charges or fees involved. So if you like to pay by cash, CPF or SRS, you can select the options accordingly. The settlement currency, as well as the validity. So if you would like to place a good till date order, you can actually select GTD, click on the calendar option and choose the date you want this order to last until. Next, key in your password. Okay. 
before you click on buy, just do a quick review of your actions, whether you're keying in the order type accordingly, uh, correctly, the action, the limit price, quantity, etc. So once that's okay, click on buy. Next, it will be a preview order screen whereby you will just check and ensure that what you have entered is correct, followed by a submit. Okay, once your order is submitted, you will actually notice that the lower right side of the web browser will have a push notification to alert you that you have actually submitted this order. To check on the order status, you can click on the order status tab. Clicking on it will show you the orders that you have entered today. Okay, so take for example, just now I clean Singtel, right? You can actually see the counter. Once again, if you notice just now, I emphasize on this EQ, these equities. Okay, if you notice on my order status, there are different products listed here. So this EQ will serve as an essential item for you to understand which product you are entering to. Okay. So just in case cases whereby, you know, we have CFD. So like counter DBS, we have for equities as well as CFD. So do take note of this icon over here before you trade and on your order status as well. Okay, see EQ, again for SGX market, the counter Singtel, I place a limit order, GTD, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so if you like more information, you can actually click on this order number bar Click on it, you will see almost the same information that I mentioned just now, and also the order history log. So in the event that this order is done uh, with different counterparties, etc., you will actually see the counterparty name over here. Okay. To let to see updated details, you can always click on the refresh button to update this ticket itself. So. What do I do if I want to amend an order? I can do a right click, amend. Okay. So once that, you can actually enter in your new quantity and enter your password again to confirm your decision to amend this order. Okay. Likewise, you see the notification on your lower right of the corner. Then after that, if you notice, the quantity is updated. Okay. So while talking about amendment, just to emphasize on this platform, there is no price amendment feature. Okay, this is only available for quantity amendment. Next, to carry on, in order to withdraw an order, you can do a right click, withdraw. Okay, once again, enter in a password to confirm your decision to withdraw the order. Once it's done, likewise, same thing, lower right of the screen, you will see the notification. And at the same time, you will see that the order is withdrawn. Okay. So if you will need to see, or rather filter accordingly to the different order status, you can do so by clicking on this all orders drop down list. Okay. You can filter by working orders. Filter by trade done filter by rejected, withdrawn, or cancelled. Okay, all these are the different filters available. Okay. So if you need to see your pass order, you can actually click on today's order, pass orders. Those orders which have entered in the past seven days will be reflected here. So if you notice, my header is actually, you know, I have so many columns over here. What do you need to do if you wish to hide some of these columns? All you need to do is just to do a right click. Okay. Uncheck the options that you do not want to see. Say so now I uncheck some of them. Okay. You can actually see on the back of my screen, some of these columns start to disappear. Okay. So this is how you adjust the columns that you want to see. Once that's done, it's okay over here. Okay, likewise for prices LP1, if you find that certain columns you are not interested in, let's say the open high low, you can actually right click on the column name, just uncheck the options accordingly. Okay, 
So, some of you might be asking, what if, you know, I do not want to just view my um, prices on one page and all the order status on another, okay? What you can do is actually to access this trade LP2. This is a pre-customized workspace, okay? So it will contain the view price widget, as you can see over here, the trade ticket, my order status, as well as the news. As an example, if I were to click on the Singtel counter again, you will see on my right, the trade ticket appears. Okay, so there's no need for you to do the right click if you do not wish to. So depending on what works best for you, you can just select accordingly. Okay, Yang Zijiang, uh, Netlink. Okay, a le one left click will actually show you the counter details in the trade ticket. Okay, if you need to view your buy limit or sell limit, it's indicated on the bottom bar here. BL stands for the buy limit, SL stands for the sell limit. Okay. So next, I'll move on to touching about my settings. So in my settings, once you click on it, okay, you will see that there are four more buttons, my account, settings, help, and contact us. Okay, I'll cover on the settings button. So under my settings, settings, okay. In Poems 2.0, we order, uh, offer two different teams. One is the dark team, and one is the light team. Okay, you can toggle between these two for three different languages, uh, English, Chinese, as well as Japanese language. In terms of font size, you can tweak accordingly. Okay. So session timeout, you can adjust to the max at two hours. Okay. You can perform your change of password here after you log into Poems 2.0. The different alert settings the trade settings, okay? If on top certain indices you are not interested in, you can actually uncheck them and click save, okay? You can configure your search here, okay? So restore workspace is one of the important items that I would like to go through with you. So say now I go back to trade LP2. What if one day, accidentally, you know, misclick or something, I mess up my workspace. So if let's say it becomes like this, okay, some of you might take some time to adjust back. Okay. So as an alternative, you can actually click on my settings, settings, and restore workspace. Okay. So once you click on OK, you actually see the page refresh itself accordingly. So your workspace is back to the normal one. Okay. So also just a quick add on. If let's say you would like to configure some price alert, you can actually do so by right clicking on the counter itself, set alert. Okay. So you can go by a, a price target alert based on the last done bid ask price, based on the daily change percentage or even by the daily volume. Say now I'm going to go for a price target, last done, enter in the price target, click save. You'll see that my alerts are saved. So click on view all alerts. You will see all the alerts that I've configured. Okay. For those triggered, you'll be appearing on top. Those who are still not untriggered, you'll be here. So for the purpose of self-help, if you need more information about the platform itself, if you prefer to read uh, for more information or description about the each and various items, you can actually click on help. Okay. The first step you will see will be this quick tour. Okay. So for all new users, when you first log into Poems 2.0 platform, there will be a pop-up which bring you across this quick tour. Okay. It will cover the essentials, 
how to navigate certain functions, uh, how to find out more information, etc. from this quick tour tool. Okay. If you would like to read about Poems 2.0, you can actually click on the user guide. And from here, you can read about how to access from the basics to the more advanced chapter of Poems 2.0, okay? So all this information are covered in the user guide. So if you ever need a reference, you can actually click in to find out more information, okay? So carrying on on these My Settings, I will first introduce you to contact us. You will see first your trading reps information, okay? This will cover the contact details, the email address of your trading representative. This can be found over here. Some of the important um, helplines that you can call with regard to the respective products, okay? Yeah, maybe if you don't feel like calling, you can actually fill up the online form so that you know our colleagues can address your concern accordingly from this online form itself. Yeah. Next, I'll move on to my account, my settings, my account. So from this my account, you can find out your own personal particulars. Okay. So do ensure that these particulars are correct. And if possible, if you have an email address as well as a mobile number, please update it to the platform. Okay, you will just need to enter your email address and mobile number here, click update. There will be some verifications email sent to you. Then from there, you can do the verification accordingly. Once that's done, you will have access to our online password reset service. This is quite essential. Okay, once again, your trading reps information will be over at the screen as well. So under account information, it will essentially cover um, some quick information, say whether you have a risk warning statement acknowledged, whether you have the SIP, whether you are enrolled for the e-statement service, your WA band status, and your 2FA authentication. Okay, so this acts as a summary screen for all the different status inside your menu. Okay. Next, bank account. So depending on the different bank account that you have, the account number will be reflected here. Okay. And say your know, CPF account number, CPF SA, SRS. If you would like to pay by uh, these methods, you can actually link the account numbers over from this My Settings, My Account, Bank Account Information. Okay, view all alerts. You will see all the alerts that I've configured. Okay, for those triggered, you will be appearing on top. Those who are still not untriggered, it will be here. So if you are more advanced in the future, you can also customize your own workspace. You can do so by clicking on the plus and customize your own workspace accordingly. All you need to do is just to drag and drop the different features to form your workspace. Okay, see now I'm interested in a trade analytics. I can actually see more information directly based on these settings. Okay. Once I'm happy with my workspace, I can do click on the small triangle here to save my workspace as a default. Okay. So you will notice how come you know I save my workspace, but the name is not reflected here. So what I did was actually I created and saved this workspace as a template, okay? So in future, if I restore my workspace, clean everything up, I can always access back my workspace from this menu, okay? To rename a workspace, I can simply do a double click on the tab and rename the workspace, okay? 
to remove likewise click on the small triangle remove this tab 